Hello, it is a chilly night tonight. I know the cold weather has been moving across the country. It's negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit outside and still dropping. So we've got the heater cranked up. We're trying not to use too much propane, but we've definitely got it at a higher setting than usual to get through the night without freezing any pipes. We read that our local low temperature that night was negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and we believe it since our thermometer was reading minus 18 in the morning. Charles had built up a fire before bedtime in the wood stove in the yurt just to see if he could keep it above freezing in there. What are you doing? I didn't want to miss it. Miss what? You explaining what happened in the yurt. I froze. That's what happened. It's cold out there. How cold? About 20 degrees. Was your fire out? Pretty much. Can you talk a little bit about your precautions in the shed for the solar batteries? I put a space heater on low to keep the batteries warmer and it got down to 17 degrees or so and the batteries say they're not supposed to get below 14 so it worked. So we spent a few days bundled up in the trailer except for a few brief excursions outdoors. But fortunately, the cold weather went away quickly. And Charles got back to work finishing out the yurt. He's working now on a heat shield made of cement board to protect the exterior wall from the batch box heater. Good afternoon. It is pretty warm outside, about 47 degrees Fahrenheit, but the wind is going so strong you might be able to hear it in the background. Charles is planning to protect part of the ceiling as well as the wall with the cement board heat shield. He does not love working with this material because it's very hard to make a clean cut and he does have to cut it down to size. It's amazing to me how long it takes the snow to melt around here. Even when we have multiple days with the high above freezing. On top of the deck you can see there's plenty of snow piled up from those two snowstorms that we had a few weeks ago. Then it became kind of an icy mess and now it's finally slush. So you can watch me fight with it for a few minutes. It might be a little bit entertaining. It's heavy. 
nasty stuff. Call if you watched our wiring video that we have a challenge of trying to hide the boxes on the switches and outlets. I've gotten my craft supplies out including scissors, black paper, and glue dots. So we'll see what we can do with those. If you don't inspect it too closely I think it should blend in all right. Well we made a big mistake. As many of you know, we are new to this climate and we should not have underestimated the destructive power of deep snow. So what did we do? We cleared the snow off of all of the urgent locations or so we thought. And one of the locations we did not clear it from was our cargo trailer, which has a flat top. And I do remember thinking briefly, I hope it's okay under all that snow. But the top is also kind of out of view, so we didn't realize that there was still quite a lot of mushed together ice and snow up there weeks later, although that also should not have surprised us. So you've likely predicted where I'm going with this. The cargo trailer holds our belongings. All the ones that don't fit in the RV and are waiting for the yurt to get finished. Now, we don't have very fancy stuff, but we liked our stuff well enough to bring it up here. And yesterday, I looked down and saw water on this box, and then I looked up to the ceiling and saw dripping coming from pretty much every seam and also from the ceiling liner itself. The snow that piled up on the flat roof actually deformed the roof of the trailer and made it not so leak proof anymore. <laughs> Charles is out there standing on the ladder, still hacking away at the snow and ice. And I'm thinking through what to do about our stuff to try to make sure it doesn't get moldy. Fortunately, although a lot of things are damp, they're not yet moldy. Wish us luck. Whoa. Now I'm leaning against the ladder so it doesn't topple over. I got all the snow and ice off the top of the trailer and it needs to dry and we'll see about sealing it. <laughs> 